So we arrived in Dubai. We flew into Dubai, but we technically stayed in Sharjah, which is separated by just a little line. <laughs> yeah, just a little line. And it's more of the residential side, but still close to Dubai where you can hop on a bus train and get into the city. In Sharjah, they have a waterfront section where we went to and it's lined with different restaurants and stores. Um, but also they had like pop-up areas for kids and one of them was a ball pit with crazy music and lights. <laughs> So we also ate dinner at a TGI Fridays, which super American, we know. But it was right on the waterfront, so we got to see the fountains that were there. They had like a cool little light show. There. <laughs> One of the experiences I had to do being in the middle of a desert was dune bashing, and it was awesome. He would go up to the crest of these like hills and then quickly turn and go back down them where you felt like you were gonna roll over. Jai was enjoying himself. He just was like the kid in the back that was just screaming and laughing, and I think that just uh, uh, made our driver even more excited to like go a little bit faster because he's like, oh, the youngest person in the car is having fun. Awesome. It was really cool just being out in the middle of the desert. A sea of sand. Yeah, and looking around and seeing nothing but sand. But after doing a bunch of the bashing, uh, we went to an area in the desert where they set up a camp. <laughs> Shisha got me a little faded, bro. Shisha. We also got to ride a camel, which was pretty cool. Uh, they're a lot taller than you expect them to be, I think. Um, I got to take some awesome selfies with a camel because it's right, right in my face. <laughs> uh, but it, it was Ryan and Jai on one camel and then me on another one. Uh, Jai thought his camel was dancing just because of how his shoulders shimmied as he walked. Yeah, and there was music going on too. <laughs> so it was, it was pretty jamming. But it was nice being out there for the evening. We got to watch a really beautiful sunset and walk down the dunes and have a great dinner with um, uh, some people that we were in the 4x4 truck with and had uh, sat at the same table with. So it was just a, a good night. Um, it was a great excursion. One, yeah. One of my tops on this trip. One of the big tourist attractions in Dubai is the Dubai Mall itself. Um, it is a massive just collection of stores. I think it's like a thousand stores that are in there. There are whole different sections of this place that look like old souks, which are old markets. <laughs> There's art exhibits all over the place. To Jai's surprise and amazement, there was an entire bone skeleton of an Apatosaurus. Yes. <laughs> so he loved that. And we met up with a friend of mine from Virginia. Uh, who's stationed there at the moment and he walked with us through the aquarium and we got to really go behind the scenes which we really haven't done at an aquarium before. We got to watch them feed certain types of fish, we got to see how they breed other types of like jellyfish and, and things like that. Uh, we also got to see a giant crocodile be fed. Uh, that thing is huge, like really huge. Wow. One of the coolest parts of the aquarium is the underwater tunnel. You walk through basically the aquarium. They have like a, a tunnel carved out through the, the glass and, and you just walk through the enclosure and there's fish and sharks and turtles swimming above you, around you. Uh, just really cool. It felt like you were in the ocean except for you could breathe. We walked out back where they have a large fountain area with all kinds of different restaurants out there. And so we're out there and you look up and you see the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. Sorry, it's looking up. It, yeah, it's really, really tall. It kind of looks like it's falling back at you um, just because of how straight up high you have to look. On the way home from the mall that night, we saw this very illuminated 
area with all kinds of colorful shapes and we're like, what the heck is that? Turns out it's Dubai Garden Glow. And we researched it and came back the next night. Mm -hmm. And it's basically just a whole bunch of cool things lit up by uh, like Christmas lights and or lights underneath the things, shapes like giraffes and flowers and whales and there's even an area in there where uh, there's no like lights lights but it was ice ice carvings you go into a super cold room mind you we are in Dubai it's a desert so we have shorts and short sleeve yeah. shirts on <laughs> They do, however, hand you a jacket, yes. which is very nice. A very heavy jacket. But my legs were exposed. <laughs> what kind of uh, but that? we were able to sit on uh, one of the sculptures, but you could tell that a lot of people will be sitting with their body heat, and it's kind of more like a leaf. But there was, there was an ice Burj Khalifa in there, ice dinosaurs. We got to go inside of an igloo. I'm in an igloo in the middle of the desert. Are you in an igloo too? Yeah. Freezing our butts off. Look at these toes and this. Oh. We weren't prepared for this, were we, Jai? Yeah. What does it feel like in here? Cold. Cold? Yeah. Let me see your breath. Breathe real hard. <sighs> what? Uh, so we went back outside because it was a bit too cold for us and we found dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. Whole animatronic sections of dinosaurs and just different things for Jai to play with and look at. And so he's running around naming the dinosaurs and what they eat and, you know, are they a, a predator or a prey or, you know, all this kind of stuff. Um, it was just a magical kind of experience there, I would say. It, you know, it is just lights and it's just, I don't know, little statues of stuff. But, like, where else do you find that? <laughs> hey, mommy. So we only got to spend one week in Dubai. We probably could have spent much more time there checking out all the things we didn't get to see. But we really enjoyed getting to see the desert, the Dubai Mall, the world's tallest building, and the plans for the next world's tallest building. That should be done here in about two or three years. Yeah, just walking around and seeing the abundance of different cultures that are there, but also learning about uh, the traditional Arabic culture, uh, the sand people. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was just a good learning experience, and us uh, being there as a family, uh, just brought us closer. More family things to do. So now we're headed to our fourth continent on this trip. We're headed to Africa, to Kenya. Yes. But we're flying into Nairobi and we'll be doing a work away exchange while we're there. So we hope it's fun and we're looking forward to being right near the equator and seeing what life is like in Kenya. Yes. Here's to the motherland. So peace out Dubai, peace out Asia. Deuces. <laughs>